Welcome back, everybody. So let's play Brutal Doom as played on the GZ Doom engine on the Ultra Violence difficulty. I'm Blood Eye Dragon, and this is map 28. Yeah, we're getting pretty damn close to the end now. For Spirit World. All right. Now, there's a couple of side optional areas here that you can explore, but we're going to get to those after I've opened. I've got the yellow key here. But for now, we're going to learn off a BFG blast on a whole bundle of demons. Alright, that looks like all three pain elementals are now dead. And gentlemen, I know we've been in hell for a while already, but I have to say it now. Welcome to hell. Because you know what? When I, if I were to build a hell map, these would be the sort of places I would build. My God, it's a little rough around the edges. I've seen people talk about that in some sort of maps they hate thread on some Doom forum, and the Spirit World got a bit of flack. I don't think it's entirely deserved, but I can see how, from a Doom 2 vanilla standpoint design, that it can be warranted. Mainly in placing invulnerabilities all just so excessively close together. But you know what, for, for brutal Doom 2's sake, it really works. It's actually necessary because, while I haven't measured the invulnerability and in Doom 2 and brutal Doom 2 to, side by side, the invulnerability does feel significantly shorter in Brutal Doom. Mind you, this is version 18, which is now outdated, so that might have changed since then. I don't know. But my point is... Oh, fucking hell. Is that, for Brutal Doom 2, it's kind of a must for this map. Anyway, I think everyone in this cabin is dead now. So what we got to do now is go after those spider masterminds. And since the invulnerabilities are right next to them, it's yeah, it's kind of a godsend this time. I'm just making sure everyone's dead. Oh, hello, where is he? See what I mean? Anyway. Okay, that's enough searching. Alright, let's go after this hell no Oh! Must be dead, is it? Fuck it, go! care of the remaining Arachnatrons. And get some more plasma. Take care of these Hell Knights. And I'll see if I can save that invulnerability. Actually, I might just use that. Because we can use it for this room, actually. First, let's just step on the chair here and activate this secret. Alright, let's go get that now. And then just one switch brings down the columns, the other one activates an exit out of this room. Now they're all dead, so what we can now do, is before we go out into this intestinal hallway, we can pretty much just grab another invulnerability and survive that one no problem. There is a Mega Spear over there, but there's also one at the end of the level, so we can pretty much we pretty much have two chances to collect on them. And that 
Ratchetron was hiding in that secret. And then there's these chain gunners and gunmen. So that should be four sec- that's four- yep, that's those four secrets. And then the other three are conglomerated together in an optional area. Oh shit, that opened up! Jesus Christ! That was unexpected! Oh wait! Ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Door must have been activated by mistake. Ups the body count a little bit, but eh. Well, I did say that there was two chances to collect on a mega sphere, so let's get one of them now since we unexpectedly opened up a door towards the exit, pretty much. Alright, that's dead. That's, that looks that's all clear. Mm, and that's the exit room there, so we'll come back for that. So, the yellow key is basically not really, well, sort of is for progress up there, but you can also use it for another yellow door. <coughs> Excuse me. What the hell was it? Hang on. Sorry about that, just coughing for no reason. Oh, I forgot about you caged uh, pain elementals. Anyway, um, we can basically use this yellow key to open up this door and collect all the goodies inside there. It's just all those potions and ammunition. And then you can also collect in vulnerability for some upcoming remnants. Revenants. So just go back in here. You can activate this blood fall. And then just activate this platform, ride it up, and let off a BFG shot. Alright, now let's jump into Oh, the invulnerability is wearing off, never mind. Okay, now as I said, uh, by this yellow key door there's a couple of optional areas. We're going to go into this one first. And then what we're going to do is, as soon as we collect on that chain gun, we're going to back out and let off a BFG shot, because we'll be ambushed. And those lights, yeah, those switches just fiddle with the lights, that's all they do. Now let's get to the other optional area and collect on the last of our secrets. Get the chain gun ready, because to the right we're going to be ambushed by some lost souls, as well as other enemies on the other side. So just in we go. Have it them. And then just turn around and keep that chain gun firing on whoever appears in the scope. Yeah, don't worry too much. Like I said, we've got another cha uh, chance to collect on another, on another Megasphere. Anyway, the secrets are pretty much in all these corners. They're pretty much lit up. See that candle there? Just open that block the wall. Take out the, uh, actually. Yeah. Yeah! Let's do that again. See that? There we go. There's a secret. That's a secret there. And then there's a revenant behind this one. Yeah, baby. I love that. So that's pretty much all seven secrets. We're just about done with the monster count, hopefully. Alright, let's... 
that's all well done. That's done there too. So we just got to head to the exit now. Just through that yellow door. Grab the key and oh fuck. all those revenants. Yep, we're nearly done with the body count. Once we get to the exit, there'll be three demons to take out, and then that'll be it. I just need to remember where it... Ah, yeah, you got to go down back into the... the mastermind area, and back into the throne room. Because by in that intestinal hallway, um, that's where I accidentally opened up the door towards the secret exit, basically. So here it is. Those monsters are basically just in their little holes there, so you have to pick up the Megasphere to raise up the platforms, but I'm going to be unfair, pretty much. And that's that! We're all done! Yeah, honestly, other than um, the silly design for, for the Vanilla Doom 2's sake of having so many invulnerabilities closely put together, I'd say this is one of the most beautiful and fun maps to play in all of Doom 2. But I guess I'll find out if, that, if that's my, still my opinion when I go through The Living End. Can't believe I'm finally almost done with this Let's Play after a whole year of Let's Playing it. See you guys later!